Hi, my name is Livia Huang, and I'm the director of More Happiness, showing in the Berlin Ali short section. The short is about a young woman asking her mother for advice one night and receiving some unexpected answers. Dogonga Oh, Hi and welcome to the 35th Teddy Awards. My name is Jan Felix Wuttig and tonight I'm here with Livia Huang to talk about her film More Happiness. Hi Livia, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Saying <laughs> hi from New York. Hi, all right. How are you holding up in these pandemic times? Well, I mean, things aren't going great, but they're going. <laughs> well, well said. Um, thank you so much for the film. Um, I found that it was um, a great kind of statement. I, I thought that um, it was particularly well made in the in the way that it um, told so much with very few words. You know, there's this center point, the the, the conversation between um, a woman and her mother, um, and I found that. Um, there, there's so much to, to go from there. There's a, like the, sort of the difference of being American born and being Chinese born and uh, about queer and straight, um, about two different generations talking to each other. Um, what did that conversation mean to you? Yeah, so um, I think growing up, uh, my mom was always telling me these things um, <laughs> that I received as truths but which are just her opinion <laughs> um, or her experience. And so for a while it was kind of, I had to be conscious about parsing what was kind of received wisdom or inherited versus what I would choose to do. Like one didn't necessarily have to be the same. Um, and I think at least in my case, um, my parents were very anxious, very isolated immigrants we didn't really um, have a, a separate Chinese American community. It was just very isolated to the family. So um, I conflated my parents with China and my parents conflated me with America. And so both these parallel conflations were like mm. wrong. Um, and so it's just something you realize growing up um, uh, that you don't that both these things are fantasies, fictions yeah, that, yeah. Um, you're, that you're living and that um, picking, picking apart what actually matters to you is still kind of um, an ongoing challenge. Mm -hmm. And there's this, um, there's this strong kind of need for instruction in that conversation. I feel that when, when she asked her mother, like, you, you have to teach me basically how to live. I mean, that's, that's a very strong <laughs> statement to make to, towards your parents. Um, was that also kind of, um, you know, um, what, what kind of um, importance does that have within that, within that talk? Um, I think, I think it's a gesture of, um, of, of love and respect. Like I, I see that you've gone through so much, like, like, why don't you teach me? Like, it's also like mm. playful. Like, why don't you teach? Like the question is so impossible, you know? <laughs> um, um, but I think at least for me, there, there was like a lot of, um, 
emphasis on how all this knowledge was secret and that we had to have these secret lives that no one else could access or that we are that we as people were not legible to outsiders. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's um, growing up as just something I've always thought about in terms of like, who my audience is, what I want them to take away from it, like how legible do I want to be, actually. Mm -hmm. So by that, you mean kind of like if you if you chose to kind of live by your parents creed, you would also um, kind of choose a path of being less comprehensible to, to others yeah. or yeah their 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 whole um idea is is um yeah we're in this crazy place uh who knows what they're doing just do your own <laughs> thing and so i was like okay i mean that's what they were that's what i was taught yeah okay well it's a certain like sort of um a security of 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 mysticism to that if you if you're kind of living by that way i guess yeah um, yeah, I think I think it was a nice. Um, it was also just like a nice buffer in terms of like, you don't have to care about other people's opinions. Also, yeah. So I, was like, okay. yeah. Um, I also kind of felt that um, there was a connection to who can predict what will move you to your um, previous short, um, in the sense that it it shows characters who are very much sort of in connection with their culture. Um, but also there's there's something else there's some some sort of mystery some some element of of not quite sort of belonging in that sense would you agree to that would you would you say that is yeah definitely i'm always um because um i was born in america i didn't choose to be here right but also my parents at this point they can't go back they they made their decision like 40, 30, 40 years ago. And now that's just their idea of the past is also inaccessible to them. Mm -hmm. um, and so for me, it's always also like a, a fantasy of a fantasy of, I think many people have fantasy of, sort of like a true home where you would actually belong. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it's very literal. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think there's many, there's like many parallels in terms of like, um, you wish you had a place you belonged. You wish you could also restore that sense of belonging for someone else. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. True. True. Um, the, the film also kind of, I, I had the same kind of feeling about who can predict what will move you. Um, but there it's, it's much more feasible and in, um, in more happiness. It also felt kind of like a departure. I don't know why it, it is kind of, it, it kind of felt like some sort of goodbye. Um, maybe it is about the the relationship that we are shown between those those two girls, and it kind of feels like it's sort of on its way of of kind of fading out because there's this imbalance that we are being shown. Um, was that something that that you intended to to see that okay, there's something going on, there's sort of departure there? Yeah, I was. Um... So who can predict, I, I was thinking about those, I was developing both those projects at once and actually More Happiness, we started filming it only maybe four months after um, Who Can Predict You. So they were actually made very in very close proximity. Mm -hmm. um, so then for More Happiness, my feeling was I did want to send it, set it more retroactively so that the relationship is over, but you're still kind of thinking or wondering about mm -hmm. why it had to end. Um, and actually, my initial inspiration was this novel, um, Last Words from Momar, which is this um, um, Taiwanese epistolary novel um, mm -hmm. where she's writing letters to her lover or about her lover. And it's very, it's only one direction, but it's all about like, why did you leave me? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. so I, I wanted to do a film like that um, with that kind of sense in mind. Mm -hmm. So it basically, is, is, it's kind of like, a, like an eulogy to, to a relationship. And, and looking back on what happened, like what defined that kind of love and what make it break up in the end. So that, that yeah. maybe that, that conversation with her mother is also like an epilogue to that, to kind of like, okay, um, I'm, I've, I, I've gone through this breakup and now I'm kind of asking for advice for the future. Yeah, it like, like you're like still thinking about it, still confused and like mm -hmm. parsing it. Um, and it, yeah, it is very much like who can predict what movie where you're just like, 
I, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know. These memories are still coming unbidden simultaneously. I don't know how I feel about this. Like assigning a meaning to it is kind of afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of also felt that there's, um, in terms of imagery, there's a lot of room that is given to nature in a sense, as if there's kind of, as if nature is kind of looking on <laughs> while people kind of stumble through their relationships all confused. <laughs> Um, because we see those, you know, the, those those um, the trees, and and there's also like a big, the big sky on the beach, and and all that. Did you um, kind of do that on show that on purpose, or was that more like a, a thing that just came with the flow? Yeah, I I really wanted to. I was interested in the challenge of how much time you can show passing in a short. Like in a feature, you have like literal time passing, so and you feel that in your body. Um, but in a short and just gone. So I wanted to see how I could show like seasons are passing. Um, these people are at different points in their relationship. I think nature, like it's nature so much larger than us. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like you feel overwhelmed by how inexorable time is. It, it mm -hmm. just, it keeps going. Yeah. And um, I think also um, nature is not, this a lot of times like not legible to us like it's it's like we somehow still aren't but it's like still awe inspiring and mysterious and i think that was what i wanted you to feel in terms of like what the sense of confusion and yeah just time being relentlessly going mm. on yeah i thought i'd kind of yeah because time is 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 something that is um or nature is something that is in that regard sort of timeless to us and that way it, it, it creates a great background for telling a story and kind of giving you that idea of, of time passing and maybe just kind of that, that weight of looking back uh, maybe on years of a relationship that has now gone bad, uh, that is now over, yeah. And yeah, um, are you, I'm, I'm assuming that you are already kind of in the, in the throws of new projects are you kind of carrying that 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 idea on or was yeah. are you um i'm thinking i'm developing two feature ideas one is more similar much more similar to like the tone of my past shorts about like a younger woman stalking an older woman who's a photographer and that's like kind of very similar in terms of like being quite elliptical um But the other one, I, but I was also like, maybe it's time to do something different. Like, I, I want to do something kind of funny. And so <laughs> the other, the other one was like maybe an idea of this like second generation restaurant tour about to lose his restaurant, um, and with competing forces of like his dad who started the restaurant, mm -hmm. the government, the money lender that he borrowed from, his own like crazy friend group. So those are very different. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm just kind of working on whatever is interesting to me at the moment. Okay. Wow. That seems like a very busy schedule, kind of like choosing which which one to do, which one to pursue. And I'm... You just yeah. use one to procrastinate on the other. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually, yeah, that sounds quite interesting. I'm very looking forward to, to uh, seeing how that turns out, actually. And also kind of looking forward to maybe, if it is possible, kind of meeting you at the at the second part of the Berlinale this summer. Um, I would love that. I'm yeah. trying my hardest to get there. Yeah, yeah. And if, if it happens, then I would be, yeah, I would be very glad to see you in person again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same, same, same. All right. I think that's, that's it for my questions. Um, it was very, very nice talking to you. And uh, thank you again for for another wonderful movie. <laughs>